Two dozen pumpkin growers faced off at the annual Circleville Pumpkin Show Wednesday. We always start with the smaller pumpkins and we gradually work our way to the larger pumpkins. Our, our show is 107 years old uh, and I think we've been weighing pumpkins for 107 years. Uh, everyone wants to weigh their pumpkins at the Circleville Pumpkin Show. Uh, but it is a closed uh, way off. Uh, we only allow our local people that live within a 25 mile radius of Circleville. So it is a hometown uh, uh, grow off. The smallest weighed in at just over 29 pounds, but the heaviest hit 1,312. Yes! <laughs> Cecil and Teresa Weston took first place. They attribute the success to the pumpkin's genetics. This has really been a hard year. Uh, we had some really bad weather, some really peak times that, that, you know, real key times where we didn't get the huge growth that we normally get. So uh, we were just happy to get one to the end. The Westons defeated longtime champions Robert and Joe Liggett, who also struggled with weather issues this year. I've won a few times and it's been great. And uh, who knows, next year I may, I'm going to try to set the world record. Growing takes a lot of hard work, and it can be a pricey hobby. What's the cost of growing you guys? About two thousand dollars. <laughs> wow, that's a lot, huh? Yeah, you got to get on the fur life program. Are expensive. Expensive. People come from near and far to watch the weigh-in and see these prize pumpkins in person. I think it's neat just to watch the different sizes and shapes and colors and how the people do it and. Just learn a lot. Done it. Yeah, and we try to guess as they're weighing. Yeah. We're getting better each year. <laughs> we get better. <laughs> That's for sure. We're getting the hang of it. 